My name is Talia Felino and I've been a gymnast for 15 years. As a child, I always grew up believing and hoping that I'd go to the Olympics. I had people always saying that my body image wasn't good enough or I wasn't talented enough and that I wasn't ever going to make it. But we're in 2019 now and I'm in Senior International and I think I've got the hope, the chance to make an Olympic team, make an Olympic team. team. Being an elite athlete, um, it takes a big toll on your everyday life. I train 30 hours a week. I miss multiple periods at school. Uh, it's really hard to keep up, but having supportive friends and teachers who really understand what it takes to get to the Olympics and accomplish year 12 and accomplish my goals in gymnastics. The biggest sacrifice in gymnastics is definitely the social life. You can't go to parties every weekend and drink alcohol and just do all the things that normal people would do. Uh, it's not a bad thing, but in the end, you have a goal that you want to achieve and that's going to be so much more in the long run. Gymnastics isn't always easy. People think that it's all fun and games, but in reality, there's so many struggles that come with it. There's the injuries, there's the mental blocks, um, the tiredness, being sore, but in the end of the day, you see the little girls looking up to you and you find some motivation and you're like, they're looking up to us, so we have to be the best role models that we can be. In 2018, I broke my toe right before the world's trials, which means I wasn't able to represent Australia at the World Championships. Um, it was obviously a really sad time, but at the end of the day, I saw everyone training and I was like even more motivated to come back. It was a pretty long process. It was at least six months until I was fully recovered and back to full training. But um, I just thought of all the positives in the end and I got through. When I was little, I always looked up to the older girls. I always saw Georgia Bonora training. It looked intense. It was always hard. I saw the sacrifices that she had to make as an athlete and um, I've always wanted to be exactly like her. As someone who's um, seen Talia train and progressively get stronger and stronger over the years, um, I definitely think she has what it takes to make it all the way. Yeah, as someone who's been to the Olympics before, um, I know how difficult and mentally grueling and physically exhausting it can be and I've seen Talia have injuries before and I've seen her come back many many times stronger than she's ever been so I know if she puts her mind to it that she can get through anything. I have many competitions coming up for the end of the year the biggest one being the world championships where we have to qualify a team for the Olympics I have the second highest difficulty start value on beam for Australia. Um, I want to do Australia proud and I know it won't be easy, but in the end, it will be worth it. Squeeze and work with the bar. You got this, come on. I 100% know that Talia's got everything in her to make it. Two or three or six.